For this sketchbook, I combined my pink and black cardstock sketchbooks together. And you're gonna see my Inktober stuff in here, but most of the rest of it is Patreon stuff. Every month on Patreon, we have a theme, and sometimes it was comic strips and studying um, artists that I like to see how their procedure is. So you might recognize a few styles in here. I personally found the black cardstock to be a little difficult to work with because I can't just open it up and scribble down an idea because I won't be able to see it. So I think it functions more as a scrapbook for people who work on loose papers or if you want to gesso them, that works too. There's a section in the black sketchbook that I really liked where I was having an artist block because of the beginning of 2020 and all the protests and such, I had to start sitting down and every time something annoyed me <laughs> or someone said something that I found offensive, I would make tiny little lost style posters, like little community posters that just let me kind of vent what my thought was and, that, and I found that to be key to getting back on track in being um, creative and in putting myself forward in a world where it doesn't feel like that's an option anymore. <laughs> um, I spent more time kind of just recording things um, that were happening in the moment rather than trying to come up with creative ideas. At some point I totally fell out of love with thick papers like cardstock like this in this size format, but if you are really into cardstock papers, sketchbooks that look kind of like this. I have so many left in my shop and most of them are rainbow. <laughs> All links are down below and thanks for subscribing. I also sell original art, sketchbooks, really nice prints, handmade calendars, pet commissions, and even some one-of-a-kind wearable art jewelry. I also have a sketchbook club on Patreon, where we fill our sketchbooks according to a theme and some tiers even get original sketches mailed to them. 